Jurassic World Evolution 2 is such a wonderful game. The dinosaur designs are incredible. The maps, amazing. But what makes this game truly incredible and unique, in my opinion, are the tiny little details that Frontier hid in the background of the maps, in the dinosaur designs, in the animations, in the database, and stuff like that. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tiny little easter eggs and details hidden in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Starting with the database, the only insectivore we have in the game is the Jehalopterus. And the only omnivores are the Dinochirus and the Oviraptor. However, the Dinochirus feeds from plant and fish, while the Oviraptor eats from plants and meat. The Gallimimus is an omnivore. It is even classified as an omnivore by Dr. Kajal Dua in the game. Ele é um omnivoro oportunista que se dá bem em grupos. The Allosaurus, the Starachosaurus, and the Triceratops are, for some reason, listed as appearing in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, but none of these dinosaurs ever appeared in all of the five seasons of the series. However, the Allosaurus was briefly mentioned by Ben in a Season 3 episode. The Edmontosaurus and Metriacanthosaurus are listed as appearing in 2015's Jurassic World, despite none of these species neither appearing or being mentioned in the movie. No dinosaur is listed as appearing in Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock, which is interesting considering that Battle at Big Rock presented us to the Nezutoceratops. The Nezuto is only listed as appearing in Jurassic World Dominion. Database entry for the Velociraptor mentions the species' role in the movies, However, it lists only movies from Jurassic Park to Jurassic World, not mentioning Fallen Kingdom, nor Dominion, not even Camp Cretaceous. And interestingly enough, it is the only dinosaur database that mentions the dinosaur's role in the movies. No other dinosaur's database have this. Mr. DNA and Dr. Wu are not listed as appearing in Camp Cretaceous. And also, I think we need to have database entry for the kids of Camp Cretaceous. They are very important for the story of the franchise. Hashtag justice for the Nublar 6. Now, an interesting detail, an interesting tiny detail that have been included in the game in the previous update, which is update 6, if I'm not mistaken. The entry for the log and dome viewing galleries have banners. However, these banners will change depending on the observation gallery you choose, whether being the log viewing gallery or the dome viewing gallery. Each of the fences make different noises when you're building them. At night, you can see surges of light passing through the invisible fences. The maps also have tiny little details hidden in the background. For example, on Isla Sorna, you can see the crashed dinosaur parachute in one of the trees, the aviary, and the engine compound. At Jurassic Park San Diego, you can see the city of San Diego in the background. And on the Biosyn Valley map, you can see the frozen lake dam where Kayla crashes her plane. Also, at the Biosyn Valley, from time to time you may catch an occasional fog in the forest, which is also a very cool detail. I just love the Biosyn Valley so much. The background sound of the maps are also interesting. You can hear dinosaur cries and roars from time to time. It 
Speaking of dinosaurs, whenever you're airlifting a dinosaur out of the hatchery, the size of the helicopter will change depending on the dinosaur. For example, a small dinosaur like the Velociraptor will be picked by a normal helicopter. But a larger dinosaur, like the Carcharodontosaurus, will be picked by a crane helicopter. Speaking of tiny dinosaurs, small dinosaurs like the Cantrosaurus will raise their head when walking through water. But tiny dinosaurs like the Compsognathus or the Cynoceropteryx won't cross deep water. Dinosaur designs are important when we're talking about Jurassic Park, and Frontier spared no expense in creating their dinosaurs. Spared no expense. For example, the Metriacanthosaurus, the Suchomimus, and the Edmontosaurus designs are based on their concept arts for the fake Jurassic World website. Which is also a shame because there are so many cool dinosaur concept arts on the fake Jurassic World website. For example, the Baryonyx, the Pexephalosaurus, and the Parasaurolophus. We should have skins like those. They're really cool, especially the Baryonyx and the Parasaurolophus. And speaking about skins, some variants, I know variants and skins are different, but whatever. Some dinosaur variants have different animations than the original counterpart, like the Dreadnoughtus, the Oranosaurus, and the Cantrosaurus. But some dinosaur variants slash skins not only look different, but they also sound different. That is the case with the 2022 Parasaurolophus skins. Regarding the movie skins, some people may or may not have noticed that the Velociraptor skins from the movie not only have different head shapes, but also different eye colors. That is also the same regarding the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Giganotosaurus from 2022, the Therizinosaurus, the Quetzalcoatlus, the Baryonyx, and the Jeholopterus, whose eye color change regarding the pattern you choose. I don't know about you guys, but I love the scars in the 2022 Rex and Giganotosaurus skins. They make these skins way more interesting and different and unique. 
but the dinosaur designs are not the only thing Frontier put a gigantic effort. The sounds of the dinosaurs are also super interesting. For example, the roar of the Suchomimus is a high-pitched version of the roar of the Spinosaurus. And when exiting the hatchery, the Carcharodontosaurus will use its roar from Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And here's an animation that some of you may have never seen, which is my case. The Indominus Rex can socialize with the Velociraptors. And lastly, but not least, my favorite easter egg from Jurassic World Evolution 2. When a carnivore eats a person, there is a possibility that you will hear the telephone ringing from the dinosaur's stomach. These are some of the details, easter eggs, and references that I've managed to found in Jurassic World Evolution 2. And I put so much effort in trying to find as many details and easter eggs and whatever that I could. Obviously, I may have left some out of the list. If I did, please mention it in the comments. And yeah, that's all for today. Actually, no, there isn't. Uh, <laughs> there is one, there's one more thing. I made a post a couple of days ago. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, comment on that post. Just go on the community tab of my channel and you'll find the, the post very easily. It's one of the, the more recent ones. And comment on that post if you have any ideas for possible videos. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.